49 years ago, in a case called Roe versus Wade, the United States Supreme Court held that the constitutional right to privacy protects a woman's right to make a decision to have an abortion. Roe versus Wade gave women the ability to control their own bodies, to plan their own families, to determine their own futures. Roe v. Wade advanced women's equality, and that case saved women's lives. But this year, the United States Supreme Court will issue a decision in a case called Dobbs versus Jackson Women's Health Organization the court could overturn Roe versus Wade. Even before Roe, some states protected a woman's right to choose, but the proponents of overturning Roe have been clear. They want to take away that right in every state. Well, our administration has been equally clear. We took an oath to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States, and we will fight to protect a woman's right to choose. In our first days, we rescinded the global gag rule, which forced organizations overseas to choose between receiving assistance from the United States or providing reproductive health care. We also restored the only federal grant program that is dedicated solely to providing family planning services, the Title X program. Since then, our Justice Department has cracked down on individuals who intimidate people who are seeking reproductive health care. In the wake of Senate Bill 8 in Texas, a law that blatantly defies the Constitution, bans abortion after six weeks of pregnancy, and gives cash incentives for vigilantes, our Attorney General sued the state. And our Department of Health and Human Services expanded Title X funding to providers in that state. At the same time, the Women's Health Protection Act sits before Congress. This landmark legislation will set a national standard and codify Roe versus Wade. The women of our nation have lived with too much uncertainty for too long. Congress must pass this legislation. You know, a few months ago, I sat down with providers from Texas and neighboring states and they shared stories of patients who had to drive hours and hours to just receive reproductive health care. Patients who were afraid that their family members could be subjected to vigilantes. Patients who did not know how far along they were and were then denied the health care they deserve. The constitutional right of women to make decisions about their own bodies is not an abstract concept. It saves women's lives. So on this 49th anniversary of Roe versus Wade, let us recommit to doing everything we can to protect those constitutional rights. Thank you.